Alrighty, welcome back, fans of the beard. We are playing some more Spellforce Conquest of EO today. So we've got a couple of groups here doing their thing, grilling and chilling. And I forget exactly where we were planning on heading with these guys. But I think that there is a pretty good chance that we need to head down this way. So we'll head on down that way. And we need to... Well, I probably could have fought these guys so that we can have these gentlemen um, I guess not them uh, the the wisp spirit come and then meld with the all fire these guys are exploring out down this way we do want to do this shaper secret at some point um, but that is for down the road when our tower gets a little closer we've got two folks here let's see who they are they're just just some bros. Then it's killing time. Gotta get on in, do some fight. I did actually um, start up another game. I didn't have a bunch of really good opportunity to, to find some some time to uh, carve out a um, another video today prior to this. So, we have green visibility here, uh, but I wanted to play um, in, you know, like 15 minute, 20 minute bursts, and obviously I couldn't play on this save because, well then, hey, you know, we're missing out on it, right? So couldn't do that. So I determined uh, I could play on a new save with a new group, a new mage. So I um, went and did a little bit of necromancy stuff. Oh, it's because there's barricades here. See? See? It'd be nice if I just knew all the stuff and things here. We're gonna go on up. This looks like it prevents us from moving. So if we move just up here, we're going to prevent them from coming down, but if we go up here, we can attack them. So we're going to do that. Anyway, the Necromancer, um, pretty fun. I knew it would be. Um, however, it seems as if the Necromancer is by far stronger, at least in the early game, because good heavens, you have just, you have a billion people running around. You can just constantly make people, and it has next to zero drain on your resources. So, it's just insane the amount of people that you can have. We're going to go ahead and heal these guys on up. So, I'm glad that I did what I did in grabbing the artificer first because I feel like it's in you know it's it's nice to uh, have a little bit more of a challenge and not necessarily like the artificer is challenging but the necromancer is just a whole different world I do kind of wish that I had done necromancy for the video series though because I'm able to move so much faster with a necromancer because you get so many more stacks of people so you can just kind of like spread through the world a whole lot easier. Is there a quest here? There is. So I actually can move through the, the, the quest a little bit quicker. Trouble with bandits? Okay. Well, <laughs> we could be jerky, but we're gonna be nice, I suppose. Yeah, well, if we just 
take our leave if we say we don't care then we don't get any resources that they might give us if we just leave and obviously we want resources it's a strategy game what are, what, what are we to do without resources let's cast aid on them let's get this wisp going here so we can meld with the all fire there These guys are just going to chill. They're just chilling. I think that we do want some more hunters. I can't remember. Let's look at hunters versus goblin archers. So they have 18 damage with a range of 5. They get a little bit extra damage against beasts. Oh, they get an XP bonus. Mm, I like that. I like that. So, 18 with a range of 5, versus 18 with a range of 5, but they don't do hardly anything. So yeah, hunters are going to be the way to go. Let's look at wolves versus brawlers. So, 8 armor and 60 health, with pack tactics, of course. Forester is nice, and beasts move a little bit quicker. Which is cool. So, pack tactics uh, 68 and 20. 55, 8, and 20. Oh, but they're feral, which is nice. They are goblins, though. So, expendable and feral is nice, but I think pack tactics. Each stack over each alley oh, with pack tactics in their stack. That's a little confusing. Does that mean since they're a stack of four, I get plus four damage? Or is it per stack? I d I'm not sure. And if that's the case, do like units die as their health pool goes lower? I believe so. It hasn't been really clear so far. Well, I don't know. I'm guessing still that the wolves are going to be better. So that's what we're going to use in our, as our melee unit going forward. And hunters, of course, as our ranged damage option. Get these, uh, get these gobos out of here where we can. Turn. Nothing else to do here. Actually, I'm going to check in on the tower, see if there's anything else to build here. Just make sure that I'm not missing out on something. Let's go see what we're artificing. We've got a bunch of copper ore, a little bit of sky iron. We've got a lesser glyph of fire wilder. So we can put more of this together and we'll get a glyph of bowman, which of course we already have. So there is absolutely no point to doing it that way. Let's see what else we have in terms of just um, do indeed, we can indeed make another orange one there just by doing that. And then we can make a green one or a blue one. Let's see about that. Uh, oh, let's do this. And we can make a mountain goat. And we can mine a mineable, mineable location on the world map. However, we're looking for stuff that gives us a bunch of these extra dots. And I don't know that I particularly care too much about Mountain Goat. We can get the mining from other stuff. So we don't really need this glyph itself. And we can get that combination of um, dots relatively easily. 
So we aren't going to do that. Let's see if we get some, some blues here. That might help us out. But I, I say let's go with some greens here. Let's see if we can't get the greenies going. Let's avoid doing too much of the two dot ones. So then this way we can get... Well, we're still kind of working out on this route, no matter what, if I want to do it this way. It might be worth it to, to do it this way. Man, it feels like we're just, we're using so many ingredients in order to just get these extra dots going up into the higher th thresholds. Ah. I, gu I guess we'll just go for it. I think part of it is this limiter right here. Not having this fourth ingredient slot actually um, is a pretty big deal because it just it's it's just one more deal that we can push it to that next stage. So I think that it's that unlocking that is probably going to be a big deal. I wonder exactly where we get that opened up. Tower rooms, tower rooms, stack slots. I don't know. I do not know. Let's check out our all fire flow again. We're still getting a decent amount of all fire going. Or, um, of mastery going. Let's summon it a wisp. We'll go ahead and summon it here. Right click, left click. Last episode I said I was going to stop complaining about the right click, so I am not complaining about it. I want to make that clear. We are going to go over and... Alchemy, use an ointment to disperse them peacefully. Ah, I do not have alchemy. So, it is time to murderize them. Who needs alchemy when you can murderize stuff? That is my question. The enemy is moving on forward. Bunch of bugs, bunch of wasps. I feel like it is absolutely 100% acceptable to go out of your way to murderize any wasps. Especially in a video game, you know. In real life, it's like, well, you know, you serve a function, I guess. But in a video game, death. Because it's not really, you know, you're not really actually damaging anybody in a video game. So, might as well. If we go up here, we've got better range. Better? Oh, yeah. I forgot. This is, this unit's all, yes. all of these guys are nothing but range. Nothing but range. These guys travel backwards like this. Are they going to be able to be attacked by anybody? Yes. And if he goes back like this. Yeah, they all can be attacked. So we'll go back up by two. Yes. Just in case. Ready? And these guys should be able to back up here and be completely. We are good to go. We should be able to attack them out from the open. Yes. Maybe even get a high ground bonus on some of these other guys. We'll see. Because there's a little bit of a slope here. They're going pretty quick, though. These guys, I definitely would get it. But only if we're close enough would it be worth it. So we obviously are going to attack these guys right here with them. They're nice and close. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. These goblin shamans are uh, probably our worst casters, our worst damage dealers. So we're going to just do what we can here. Still not doing it with those guys. 
Let's see how these guys do. I've got a full green orientation there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that we can kill people where we can. We are not getting any green eyes on either of these. So we'll move on up here. We'll see how much damage we do. 12 to 16. It's not that much. It's not that much. However, these guys will not be able to kill them. So we'll do that. Yes. We're green there. We're yellow there. So I'm confident that whether we move up or not, we're going to be able to kill these guys with them, with him. So 12 to 18, yes. or 14 to 20. 8 to 12. Not a good option. So these guys will kill uh, them, and we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we have a little smoke bomb that we can teleport. But it's not necessary, so we shan't. We shall just give them the old wacko. And then turn. They're moving on up, moving on forward. This is probably a really good idea because they're gonna flank them, and they're gonna flank them from behind, and may even deal a rather significant amount of damage. Which wasn't even not. Words are hard. They definitely did. <laughs> we have a range pedal there unless we move forward, so we're going to do so and kill them there. These guys will move forward and first aid our little goblin here. Yes. Forlorian Iron Bend shall do the deed. And if he doth not, then we shall engage in melee. Charge! Melee was given and taken. Circle mages don't like it when you trespass into their domain. You're right, they don't. I don't think I'm a circle mage, so that doesn't apply to me in the same way. Alluvian uh, likes me a little bit more, but they still absolutely detest me. So I'm going to go ahead and get close to the all fire. It draws you to it. Its power is singing to you. If you, summon, if you can summon a wisp, if you can meld with the all fire source and allow you to channel its energy. I have that summoning spell in my grimoire. Aw, yeah. Just like these guys right here that can move right there so they can do it. Give yourself over to the Allfire's call, or let the Wisp meld with the note and study it. Hmm. I don't really know. Oh, you decide nothing more than to touch it, though you know it will destroy you. Well, I don't, I'm not going to let it destroy me. That's kind of silly. You barely managed to avert your gaze from the wondrous energy so powerful as your desire to delve into the all source of Allfire's source. But you do were saying yourself, focusing instead on what can be learned from observing the meld. To hell with the circle, I will conquer the all fire. Con conquer it? I thought we were just like using it. So your unit is now on a, on a location it can meld with. Execute the meld using the skill. Takes every turn to finish, and losing or moving the melding unit stops the process. I see. Do I just get it permanently if I meld with it? I, I don't know. I have enough movement to go over and kill these guys, because they may move over and try and hit them, which obviously we don't want to do, and probably enough to head over that way and deal with this interesting quest. So, more bugs. More bugs. That's one of the uh, complaints that people had a little bit. Um, Specifically for the re replayability on this, is that um, it, they found that it would most likely be difficult to get a lot of replayability out of this game because of the lack of variety of enemies. 
and I find that's likely to be the case from what relatively little we've played so far. They're doing quite a bit of damage to these guys, which is always nice to see. And even with their um, lack of good range options, they're definitely going to kill them. This shaman cannot attack them in their current position. We're going to go ahead and move our hero up to take a couple of pot shots at these guys and essentially see if we can't protect our goblin shaman because I don't particularly want them to be hit. And they're already yes. here. So we can't really do anything else. They're gonna come up and kill and attack the Earth Shapers. They're not gonna be able to kill them. Full show. And they're gonna hit these goblin archers. These wasps. Oh, they're gonna attack yes. the hero because of reasons. They'll do a lot of damage from this nice flank attack. So that'll be nice. And these guys will definitely kill these guys in range. And then we will hit these guys over here. We probably could have healed and then whacked them in melee. But, eh, they're not. He's not that low. Although I am planning on fighting again, so it probably would have been better to think about that in the future. Not getting that much experience from killing these little guys. I did get a hunk of meat. From these guys, no thank you. Pass. A simple wooden chest, not locked, but nailed shut. Let's crack it open! An unsealed letter falls to the ground just roaming through, through the clothes. Let's go ahead and read it. Let's meet tomorrow. I've saved enough money for us to travel to Seven Keeps. I'm yet to find a way to make a living there. But don't you worry. I will take care of us, I promise. This is like a little love note. They had a little, like, rendezvous. I wonder if they are going to, like, if I do, like, something like this, is if they they will meet up later, and they'll recognize us, or remember that, or we'll tell them or something, and we'll get more rewards out of it. However, who's going to know if we just take the coin and leave? Like, who, who, who's, who's going to know? Who's gonna know? We're gonna take the coin. No one will be the wiser. We're just gonna do it. And we're kind of playing like sort of jerky on this on this run. Not like overtly terrible, but just like not pleasant people. More wasps. Hornets. Level three, tier one. Piece of cake, seen them before, know what they do not going to be a problem. Oh, and the exact same map, which we've seen before quite a bit. Hmm. This may become quite repetitive over time. I wonder if that will be the case. I almost think it will be. Let's go ahead and move up, give him the old wacko, give him the old schmackaroonie. These guys will come up here and, and definitely attack, but what is one to do? I figured that they would kill him uh, yes. in that realm. But I suppose not. Let's see here. What are we going to yes. do? If we go here. We'll definitely be able to kill them. Let's go here, probably. Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and go here. Because when these guys come around, I'm going to want him to be able to hit them. Because these mm -hmm. goblin shamans are not going to be able to deal with them on their own. They're going to come forward. Hopefully they hit my shapers because they have the most armor. But they're not going to. Yep. 
hit the little goblin archers. We knew they would. Yes. That's okay. Um, actually, let's go ahead and we could probably heal there and deal the best with them. Ooh, that's a lot of damage getting pumped out by those archers. It's from that flanking. And these earth shapers can yes. do a lot of damage. Let's see if uh, he can't kill them and then get the experience himself. Because he's only level 2, so he's not like uber leveled, so he should be able to be getting more experience. And of course, as mentioned before, he's our apprentice, so he's kind of like our hero, so he's going to stick around for a while. Oh, yep. Bang. Whoa. Five level ups. Okay. Hitting it. All you, do, all you need to do ever is just complain a little bit about something, and then it will happen. But only complain if it is justified. Okay, so he can meditate and he restores focus point per action used. And um, that'll end his turn because he just uses up all the actions. He can mend so he can heal 35 health of each allied unit in a radius, oh, around the caster. So it, it's only around himself. So he has to run over and do it. But it still ends his turn. Um... And he's pretty buff compared to the rest of the people around him, so that might actually be worthwhile. We can apply Earth Armor to an allied unit in range of 3, which would be really good, plus 50% physical resistance. That would be awesome if we had a more melee-oriented person that we just kind of like threw out into the thick of things all the time which I think we're probably going to a little bit later at some point. We're probably going to be getting access to higher tier units, and they've, they've got to have. They've got to have higher tier melee units. So this might actually be exactly where we want to go. And, and this doesn't end the turn either. This is just an action point. It doesn't end their turn, his turn. So it might might be such where he can do this and then continue on. Once again, stuff like this, not that great at doing stuff. However, the summon barrier is the exact same way. Just one action, and it doesn't end his turn, so he was able to keep going with the summon barrier. I think that this earth armor is probably going to be really good. The mend is really nice, but I think this earth armor is going to be going to be where we want to go. Earth Shaper, let's see what you got. Daily regeneration or missile damage? Missile damage, no contest. Plus one white damage. Uh or one armor. Um white damage. No contest. Armor or unit always unit always deals maximum damage. That's huge. That is actually that's massive. That is really, really good. Um, get an additional gold after each battle one, or an additional speed. Let's go ahead and do the gold, because everyone moves about the same amount, and we don't really need them to move that much faster. Oh, it's okay, we just go into the city. Alluvian, Al Alluvian, yeah, Alluvian, is divided into an upper and lower city. Many of the upper city squares now display an elevated influence in their green enameled rooftops and adornments. So we need to kill everybody? Is that what we're is that what we're talking about? Oh we've got training grounds. Oh here we go. So we can get militia, human workers, human workers, militia, elven rangers, scouts. Oh look at this. Are they are they horses? Inspect. Yeah, they're on horses. What up? That's awesome. Oh they're tier one though. Tier one cavalry? I don't understand what happened. Okay, this is unhelpful. This doesn't mean anything. This is a cavalry unit and rides on a mount. We can see that with our eyes. What does that mean in terms of gameplay? Please and thank you. Let us know. So they have true sight, unhides units, and garrisons in vision range. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, they can swim. Oh, and they have extra vision, which is nice. Um, they have a regular melee attack. They move faster, which just makes sense. But they don't have anything necessarily really cool, except that they are riding horses. 
resources. Which is cool. But, nothing there. Oh, an herbalist, okay. We've got potent water at a, as a catalyst. Doubles the amount of potions gained through alchemy, but lowers all this is more. Well, useless. It means nothing. We've got uh, Dorvin, Dwarven Windweed. Okay. Uh, we can give people a move fast. Okay, we've got a Lesser Glyph. And an Herbalist Sickle. Okay, so we can buy a bunch of ingredients from her, including this stuff. Black Ash. Holy cow. We have to be tier 4 in terms of respect with them, which is going to be difficult, I think. Maybe I should start being nice with other people if we're going to... If this is going to matter, because I'm not going to kill them. I don't know that I have an option to do that. I don't think I have an option at all. So, I can't take over this city, I don't think. So it might be worthwhile to legit become friends with them. Looks like we have a little quest, but collect. Um, we, uh, what? This is confusing. Okay. The local theater group has fallen violently ill overnight. The medics are lost. No one knows what to do. We hope that Lena will at least give them some comfort. If you have any to spare, you can give them some. Um, I could go collect some. Or, I have a healer in my group. What up? I have two, actually. With some observation, you conclude the group has been poisoned. Nothing fatal, but with some bed rest, none of them will suffer any long-lasting effects. We are certain that next morning, all of them will be good as new. And, I get plus 20 rep, rep with them. That was easy. I wonder who did it. So... Uh, at level 3, we can get new... Oh, I can get a new quest? At level 4, I get a whole new room. Oh yeah, it's definitely worth it to try and be friends and get a new room that you can do here. Nice, okay, so we can get militia and human workers. They have the... Oh, they can harvest plants and mine ore. They might be worth hiring now-ish. Uh, let's see what this militia do. They're expandable, they're followers. Ooh, no upkeep. That's a big deal. Mortal human swimming. Uh, 8, 60, 20 damage. And these are probably at the same level as the goblin barbarians, uh, except with 5 more health. Um, yeah, they have, yeah, these militia might, might be pretty good. Oh, they, we've got wolves going on. Um, Let's let's get a couple of let's get a couple of these human workers. Yeah, and we we can buy some of these. Um, no really good reason to buy any of them. Oh, they're <laughs> on. <laughs> they're on the water. Magical water, water alluvium, impassable. So we can get. Water? Magical water? If we go here and harvest it? Harvest the plant that is in the water here? <laughs> I mean, I guess we might as well try. Three turns to harvest the water that is <laughs> the the green plant water that is drawn in the middle of the lake. I mean, I know like lilies and stuff grow in water. Like, I, I, I get that. These are not lilies. This is a this is a whirlpool, sir. All right. Well, it is time to close up shop. So we are gonna go ahead and do that. We explored a little bit. I uh, got over into the city and finished up a couple of quests. So we need some pretty good progress. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, and I hope that all of you stay beardy out there.